Please. Now families on the island are getting more and more desperate for a way out. Between nine and 1,100 people expected to move to Hartford alone. City leaders are coordinating state and local services. They're also calling on nonprofits to marshal resources too. Some of those resources include, but are not limited to, transportation to their destination, uh, looking at the medical needs that they may have, seeing exactly what city or town they intended to go to. They are immediately met with information, with a helping hand, uh, and with a sense that our community embraces them. Harvard schools have already done that. 88 students, most of them from Puerto Rico, have already enrolled. And Superintendent Leslie Torres Rodriguez expects there'll be more. We wanted to make sure that we identified the schools that primarily had uh, culturally responsive support. So that means bilingual and bicultural services for our students. Students and their families are going to need just the basics so they can even go to school. If you would like to help, the Harford Public Library is going to be the place taking school supplies and cash donations so they can put backpacks together for these students. And there are also so many nonprofits providing relief. The Red Cross, CRT, which is Community Renewal Team, Capital Region count so many more to get the details and the hours and the locations of those services they're providing you can call 211 for all the information Mike Heideck NBC Connecticut